taking this guy out. This is 600 miles of use. Hey guys, it's Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. So I'm out here, I have my SUV that I tow with and then I have this trailer. Now, this is my favorite kind of trailer out there and that's a friend's trailer. So I'm uh, very thankful that uh, he lends it to me when I need it. But um, the point is I have a couple different trailers that I use um, you know, that are either mine or that I borrow and I always run into the problem of having the right hitch. And I also get different vehicles from time to time that I tow with and they all have different uh, hitch heights. So you can see this trailer here, it's very low to the ground. It's a tilt trailer and you know, the back's almost touching right now. And that's where I had it before just to get it off of the vehicle. So I'm gonna show you, you know, what I've had before and then I got a new uh, hitch that's really uh, nice that I like. So, you know, the standard is a ball mount like this that, you know, either comes straight out or it's a drop hitch or whatnot. You know, this one is just a, uh, like a 5,000 pound rated one. So it's not that, you know, it has a two inch ball on it. So I only use this for my smaller trailers. And then I have a big weight distribution hitch. You know, this one is a easy elite or easy lift elite. And I think it's from Kurt um, manufacturing, but you know, this is a big 14,000 pound um, bad boy and it has big uh, weight distribution arms that you can put in there as well as a, a sway control bar which is fantastic but the lowest it can get is really only about an inch or two below the hitch height so on like this Yukon XL um, it's way too high without a bigger drop especially for this trailer so that's what I'm going to show you here now is this um, it's from Araya products. It's called the Alumato, but this thing is sweet. It's a 12,000 pound capacity, but the beauty of it is that it has all three ball sizes that you need. And then, like I said, with 12,000 pounds, I, I never tow more than that. And so you can buy this on Amazon. I actually picked this up at my local family farm and home. They had it on sale. And um, so this is this is it, and it's I want to show this to you. So let me put the camera down and show you how it's set up. All right, so it comes with locking pins that uh, both attach it to the vehicle, but then also the adjuster has to get locked on there as well. So that's included with with these guys. We'll slide this on into here. And now, if you didn't get it by the name, these are aluminum, which is uh, nice because they're light. And they don't rust that's the other obviously big advantage of aluminum now it can corrode but um, you're not gonna rust and make it fall apart like some of the other ones so this goes in there and then you have this guy and this is you know the ball mount and you can inside of here are some little pins you can push them out from the front side it takes a little bit of coordination here you can slide them out and then the ball just comes straight out so it has the one and seven eighths the two inch and the um the two and uh five sixteenths so for this trailer it's a two and five sixteenths the big one so i'm gonna slide that one in anyways and then we'll have to line up the hole here by looking at it from this side and then the pins go in and the way that it keeps the pins from coming out because there's no retaining feature as far as you know a pin or uh, i mean like a clip to go on them or anything it just gets retained because it gets trapped. So you take this from the bottom and slide it up. And now the beauty is you can see here, you can very quickly adjust this to any of these heights that you need. So this is about where the other one, that's as far down as it can go, but you can go up higher. Let's see, go to about here so that your ball is basically like a straight out attachment. Or I can go all the way down here to the bottom, which is where I want to go. And now I'm dropped down a good uh, four plus inches um, from the bottom of the hitch. I think that would be uh, six inches from the top of the hitch. So this one has a standard pin with a clip that you're kind of used to. And then you use the other lock 
to keep that from going away from uh, someone that's keep an eye out for it. Now, they give you two sets of keys, but they do provide these, uh, they're keyed together. So uh, you can just use one key for both of these locks, which is a nice touch. All right, now the other thing you look at is hitches. You know, there's some other brands out there that you have to watch for and that are like, you know, cheap or knockoff like brands you never heard before. And um, what I've noticed is how much slop they have. So both in the receiver itself and then right here between this attachment and here. What I like about this one is one, it has two pins, which helps reduce that. But then the other thing is this whole um, um, mount here, it has the grooves back here so that the pins aren't the only thing preventing the movement. This actually is kind of locked in place onto this square mount as well. So that helps with the um, the wobble. But I think anytime you get one of these adjustable ones, you're gonna have to expect to have a little bit more wobble that's gonna happen because you just have more interfaces. So obviously with a simple one like this, the only interface you have is the main uh, hitch receiver to this and then there's no other place so it's gonna have less movement now with this one you have one two and then three because now the ball is not fully tight so it has a little bit of wiggle as well so that's the downside to it and what that means I think really in um, the grand scheme of thing is it's gonna be a little bit louder probably out in the road you know this is a body on frame vehicle so it's it's isolated a lot but if you have a um, a body frame integral vehicle like some of the crossover SUVs and whatnot they tend to transfer that noise a lot more into the uh, the body and into the cabin so that's probably the downside of this but otherwise this is the only hitch I plan to use from now on uh, in fact I might sell some of my other ones because this has all three balls that I need and then I can adjust this up and then obviously I can take this piece and flip it over and have it do a, um, a rise instead of a drop I've never needed a, a rise, but um, perhaps if you have a low vehicle or some kind of trailer that's really high, you would need that. But this should serve all of my needs. And 12,000 pounds covers um, all the stuff that I ever tow. So I'm gonna give this a tow and I will video that I'm gonna tow tomorrow actually with it. So I'll include that here next with what I think of it after towing it for about 600 miles. I can get this guy nice and level even with a low trailer. Now I'm ready to tow. this guy out this is 600 miles of use so you can see it has a little indentation there from uh, from towing uh, let's see something I'm gonna watch with aluminum obviously being a softer material and still obviously it's a lot thicker so you get the same amount of strength but it still can uh, get dented up easier all right, so this is it after 300 miles with just the steel trailer behind it and then 300 miles with the steel trailer and a 4,200 pound mower. So it's about 7,000 pounds total. Like I said, the only thing that I notice here is a couple of these little dents right where it touches the, um, you know, the end of the receiver in the vehicle. So... Overall, I'm happy with it. I'm excited to start using this guy more. Although it's not uh, like feather light or anything, the aluminum is certainly a lot 
lighter and easier to handle with one hand, which I can't do with my big weight distribution. Uh, still one thing I will say, you know, the downside to this that I saw is it is louder as I kind of uh, projected. Uh, and namely when it, the trailer was unloaded. So when it was unloaded, you could get these um, things to move. You know, as you can see, I mean, they, they definitely have some notable slop in there. It's, um, they, there are some bolted ones. I don't think I've seen any aluminum ones that are bolted, but there are some steel ones that you bolt them up instead of putting the pins in and that would obviously get rid of that slop um, overall though i'm actually very happy with it and i'm willing to deal with a little bit of noise for the convenience of having an all-in-one package that i uh, and also has a carrying case that it comes with so it's um easy to uh, to store and so this one when it was loaded up i didn't have as much of an issue with the noise and I think it's just because, you know, it's pressing it and keeping it from um, oscillating. So um, that's the one downside to it. But other than that, I do recommend this and it's what I intend to use. So uh, hopefully you guys found this useful. If you like it, uh, subscribe to the channel and then you'll get uh, more videos that I make.